Dear students, in this video we will discuss about Jerry Thompson plum pudding model of atom. Before discussing the Thompson plum pudding model of atom, we will discuss some previous information, some previous ideas about an atom. Available information before this model was that atom is the smallest particle of matter. This was the idea of Democritus and Dalton. Apart from Democritus, he thought that if we cut a piece of matter into the smaller and smaller pieces, then a point would be reached where the matter could not be cut into the still smaller pieces. He named these these uncuttable pieces of matter and atoms dalton also followed the democritus idea and said that all matter consists of atom and atom cannot be created or destroyed second available information was that atom has no electric charge and is electrically neutral. However, Thomson discovered electron inside atom using cathode ray tube experiment. The discovery of electron by J.J. Thomson seized the acceptability of Dalton and Democritus idea of an atom. We say that matter consists of indivisible atoms which cannot be created or destroyed. Thomson proposed three possible models on the basis of discovery of electrons. J. J. Thomson already knew that atom is electrically neutral. Keeping in mind the neutrality of an atom, J. J. Thompson proposed three models. His first possible model was that each negatively charged electron is paired with the positively charged particles. So, in order to cancel out the negatively charged electron, there should be positively charged particle inside an atom. Secondly, he proposed that negatively charged particle orbit at central region of positive charge region. This was the second arrangement of proposed arrangement of negative and positive charges by J.J. Thomson. Thirdly, J.J. Thomson proposed that negatively charged electron occupy region or space that is uniformly positive, positively charged like plum in the pudding. That's why this is called plum pudding model of an atom. This model was chosen by J.J. Thompson. J.J. Thompson presented his plum pudding model in 1904. He said that atom is divisible and consists of tiny negatively charged particles called as electrons. These negatively charged electrons float within the soup of diffused positive charge. J. Thompson knew that on the whole atom is electrically neutral. And electron are embedded in the atom. So, in order to balance out this negative, these negatively charged electron, there must be a positive charge. So, he said that atom is like a pudding with electron as a plum embedded in the atom. This model is similar to the plum pudding which is famous English desert.
There was a scientist named Bohors. Bohor was the colleague of J.J. Thompson and he considered the second probable model of J.J. Thompson which states that negatively charged particle orbit at central region of positively charged region. On the basis of this model, J.J. Th- Bohor presented his own model of an atom which is called as Bohr model of an atom. According to this model, electron revolve around the positively charged nucleus. In our next video, we will discuss the details of Bohr model of an atom. Dear students, in this video, we will discuss about